5 reasons why I don't buy supply drops. It's pretty much gambling. Even though I have a decent income, I would never spend money on supply drops. Opening supply drops is like playing slots. It sucks you in and if you have little to no self-control, you will be up to your neck before you realize. This is how human brain works and a gamer can get addicted. Supply drops even have the same animation and sounds as the slot machines. Even if you only spend few dollars, trust me, it's the start and when they put the next shiny DLC item, you will be spending those Benjis to get to that. I hope you stick around because you don't want to miss number 2 and 1. Number 4. No influence from the YouTubers. I don't care if you have a British accent in a supply drop video or you are super excited in a supply drop video or you are making a softcore porn while opening supply drops. I never get the urge to buy supply drops. YouTubers make big bucks and sometimes to make big bucks you have to spend on supply drops and sometimes they get free COD points from Activision which they lie about to their fans. So spending on supply drops won't break a YouTuber's bank but if you and I will spend a little extra on supply supply drops, trust me, we will get kicked out of the house. If you agree with any of this, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 3. Spend elsewhere. I spend it on myself. Get yourself in a habit of spending on yourself. Get a gym membership, whey protein, gym gear, stay healthy and stay in shape. This will leave you with no to little extra cash to waste. Invest in yourself. Buy clothes. Take your loved one on a date. I don't know, do what you gotta do but buy something tangible. Remember, you already spent over $100 on the game with the season pass, there is no need to spend more on it. Be content. Number 2. Grind the game. This is what I do. My current crypto key count is fast approaching 1000. Last time around I was at 1200 then I used them all. Accumulate crypto keys by grinding the game. Save them and spend on DLC items. Grind again, wait for the DLC, grind, spend, repeat. Most of the YouTubers doing supply drop videos don't even play the game. And my last reason why I don't buy supply drops, DLC items is equals to no competitive edge. Have you ever seen a competitive Call of Duty match? They play with all the default weapons. I don't even use the DLC guns. I'm happy with what came with the game. The game itself has tons of good weapons so use them. DLC items is not going to win you matches. It's your skill. Improve your game, win the game, be in the winner's circle, hear the other team saying how good you are. I don't care if you play with the camo on the gun or not. As long as you're stomping the other team, you will get noticed. Let me know in the comments below how much have you spent so far on supply drops. Thank you so much for watching. As always, honor the call.